Hi friends. Today we are going to go through some yoga that helps with back pain. Um, different ways to do poses and postures and things that can actually help strengthen your lower back. That spot that is, you know, so sensitive. I've dealt with back pain for years and years and there was a long time where it was a daily struggle. So I want to go through some of the things that have helped me and hopefully they'll help you too. So get comfy. You're going to have a seat and then lay back with your knees bent. Hi. <laughs> now make sure your entire back is on the mat. Okay. So kind of lift up and that's that curve of the back there. Make sure your whole back is on the mat, okay? Inhale, exhale, and bring that left leg up. We're pointing the toe, flexing the foot, and then bring the knee in close to the body. Back out, in, okay? And then down and up with the leg straight, okay? Other leg. You're pointing the toe, bring the knee down. Okay, and down and back in. Okay, so we're working out that lower back. If that starts to hurt at all, then you don't go down as far, okay? Hug your knees in tight to the body. And pull the chin close to the knees. You can even rock back and forth here to sort of massage your spine if you want. Extending the legs. Great for circulation. Point the toes. And then the right leg down. The left leg down. Bend the knees. And then we're going to hug the right knee in tight. And when we do that, we're protecting the lower back. Holding that leg in keeps your back really plugged into the floor. So the left leg extends, hovers above the floor, bring them both in, and then switch. Hold the left knee tight, and then extend the right leg a few inches above the ground. So we're working out the abdomen this way, and that is helping your back. Grab the outsides of the feet and you're holding the hips open and happy baby. Opening your hips. Your hips being tight can, you know, cause some lower back pain. Everything's connected. And try to keep your breathing nice and even. And then the feet come together and go to the floor. Now when you tilt your back this way to put your legs down, your lower back will come up off of the mat. And then straighten your legs out, the right leg in and over. The arms can stretch out, palms are on the floor, and you gaze over your right shoulder. Try to keep your arms on the floor as much as possible. Back onto your back and bring both knees up, switching legs. Left knee up and over, gazing over the left shoulder. Palms are on the floor for this. And then bring the knees in and rock to a seat. And cobbler pose or butterfly, the kids would call it. Press the feet together, opening the hips. Nice straight spine here. Go as deep as you want to. And we're going to shuffle into a tabletop position. And you want to make sure you're aligned, hips right over knees, shoulders right over your wrists, fingers are spread wide. Exhale, push the mat away. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Neutral spine, lifting the knees up. 
up onto the toes and then the torso and the chest meet and we slowly lower the ankles down toward the mat. The feet don't have to be totally on the floor. The knees can stay bent. Right leg on an inhale, take a big step, keeping the knees bent. And then we come to standing and bend the knees as you come down, step back onto the knees, eyes forward, lower yourself down, inhale, upward dog, looking up, pushing up, exhale, child's pose. Then push with the feet into a nice easy down dog. One big step, knees are bent and you gently scoop the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, coming down, down to the knees, child's pose. Lower yourself down, I'm sorry, upward dog, not child's pose. Up on an inhale. Exhale, child's pose. And to the toes, other foot, big step. Knees are staying bent, inhale, scooping up, exhale, down, bend the knees and step back to the knees, lowering down, inhale, and let your forearms come to the mat. The toes are, the feet are pointed and scoop everything up on an inhale. So you're moving everything off of the mat, except for, you know, the middle of your body there. Inhale up. Nice, soft, lower back. Think soft, lower back when you come up. And the palms face the floor. Soft, lower back, soft neck. The arms come forward like a superhero, like you're, cr like you're flying through the air. Okay, and coming down, the forearms come to the mat for sphinx. The top of the head is reaching up. Lower back is nice and soft. No tension. No tension in the neck. The top of the head reaches up. And we lift the right leg up and pulse. Other leg. Working the back of the legs, the glutes, the lower back, right leg, left leg. Coming down, the palms are on the floor, inhale up. Scooping everything up, forward, reaching up and out and the forearms come back to the mat soft lower back soft neck now we're going to reach back and just place your hand on your foot okay and see if you can lift the foot up the leg up the arm is just along for the ride we're not pulling splaying out to the side like this the foot is going to come up over the top of the head Okay, if you can't lift it, just reach back there and leave your hand there. That's the practice. That's the beginning. It's okay if you can't lift it yet. Other side, place the hand and then using the leg muscles, you're lifting your leg and your foot up. And down. Inhale, curling the toes up, both arms back. Just kind of place the hands there. Not pulling, stretching the quads. The legs are only about hip width apart here. Okay, and then we come up and down. Forearms to mat. And we're coming up onto the tippy toes, low plank. Strengthening the core is so much help for the back. Okay, it's you know, your back is part of your core. Now, we don't want the bum up. We want everything in a nice straight line, more like this, okay? Knees come down. Knees wide, big toes are touching, and child's pose. Forehead on the mat. 
arms extended in any yoga practice, in any yoga class, you may come to this pose if you ever need to catch your breath. There will be times where you'll roll your mat out and not move from this spot. And that's okay because you are taking a moment for yourself. Inhale, coming up. The knees come under the hips, rounding out the back, keeping that nice, even breathing here. Just making some adjustments. <laughs> so place your hand on your, your belly, okay? And make sure that you can tell when you're tightening up and then tighten up the abdomen and right arm extends, left leg. One long line. And keep it nice and tight, reaching out and down. Neutral spine, no tension. Tighten up your abdomen. Inhale, left arm, right leg. One long line. Everything is shining out from the center. Reaching out from every direction. One long line. And down. Good job. Neutral spine, and you reach up and under. Inhale, the right arm comes up, the left leg. Tighten it all up, shoot it out, and then down. Activate your abdomen. Left arm, right leg, one long line, tighten it all up, shoot it all out, and then come down. Now gently find your way onto your back with knees bent, arms are at your sides, and the tips of your fingers should just brush against the ankles. Legs are about hip width apart, even steady breathing. Try to let go of any tension. Inhale, exhale. On an inhale, you will lift the hips up toward the ceiling. Unclench your glutes and let your legs do the work here. Try to let go of any tension in the neck area. Your legs are doing the work. And coming down nice and gently and then Inhale, and you'll lift the hips up. See if you can tuck the chin into the chest. Lace the fingers together and use the arms as a lever underneath the body. Unclenching the backs of the legs, letting the arms come back down, and then extending the left leg, trying to keep one long line. If this causes any pain, then just go back to the regular bridge pose, okay? And then we're doing the other side. This is something to work up to if you're not here yet. That's okay. And we're coming back down. And then both knees go to the left. Both knees to center. Both knees to the right. Coming back up. Even breathing, making sure the back is connected to the floor, holding the knees in tight. You can sort of rock back and forth here, side to side, really pressing the lower back into the mat, almost like a little massage. Hug the right knee in tight and let the left leg extend just a few inches off the floor, pointing the toes. And then take your hand to your side here and feel how much work your abdomen is doing. You can draw circles with the, the toe. You can just pulse the leg up and down or hold it still. But keeping that hand on your side, you can really feel the abdomen doing all that work. And then bringing the left knee in close. 
Remember, hugging the, the knee close to the body keeps the back in contact with the floor. And then extending the right leg. Point those toes. You can just hover right above the floor or you can draw circles or pulse the leg up and down. And then take the right hand, hand, fingers, to the side and feel your abdomen working. Doing both legs at once this way can be super intense, but once at a time is really, you know, just as much benefit. Extending both legs up, great for the circulation. You can do this with your legs against the wall as well. And then bring your right foot down right in front of the knee and then clasping the hands together, pulling everything a little closer, opening the hip, stretching. If this is too intense, then just don't lace the fingers together underneath that left leg. Nice, even, steady breathing. Gently, we unwind back to extended legs. And then the left leg comes across. It's like a number four we're making with the legs. Clasping the fingers, bringing it all a little closer. One side is always a little more tight than the other. Extending the legs. And then we are taking the legs out long. One foot goes to one corner, one foot goes to the other. Let your eyes close, the palms face the ceiling. Nice open hands, open heart. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling love and self-acceptance, exhaling any doubt, any negativity that you've held on to about yourself. Nice steady breathing. When you are ready, you may roll over onto your side and push yourself up this is sort of a trick. I'd like you to watch this. The way we usually sit up, parents getting up out of bed, we reach and wrench everything from the neck to the hips, pulling up, okay? So this way takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's a lot gentler on your back. Roll to the side and push yourself up without you know, um, tightening up anywhere. So have a seat, work out any kinks. And we'll just take one moment here. Healing your back might be a, a process that goes on for a long time. And it might be something that, you know, happens quickly for you. Either way, let's not rush. Just kind of breathe in. Take the arms all the way up, reach high. Exhale and bring your thumbs to your forehead. Namaste. Have a good one, guys.